December favorites. I know that I'm late, but in my defense, I wasn't real sure I was going to film this one because, you know, I did the Best of Beauty tag, um, and I didn't want to be redundant. However, there were quite a few products that I didn't feel like I could mention in the Best of Beauty 2013 um, because I haven't had them very long, but I have been crazy, crazy obsessed with since I got them, so I want to share those with y'all. Um, so let's just get started. First and foremost, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation. This is the best foundation ever. <laughs> I'm serious. I got a little pump from MAC for less than $10 because it was a hot mess without it. Um, I absolutely love this foundation. I'm wearing it today. It is just flawless. It gives you this full coverage um, and it, uh, what am I trying to say? It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look cakey and it's just, the finish is beautiful and I, this is no lie. I do my, I used to get up at 530 in the morning and I do my makeup. I don't take my makeup off until nine o'clock at night, eight or nine o'clock at night. And my face looks the same. I, nine times out of 10, I don't have to touch up. It doesn't break. It doesn't um, wear away. It's just, get it. You can sometimes find these at CCOs um, as well. I've seen them in a CCO, but, you know, they don't have as many. They don't have all its shades. But anyway, well worth it. Love it. We'll repurchase it forever. Um, for underneath the eyes, I hauled this too not long ago. This is Emphasize, Max Emphasize. Uh, you can only get this online or in pro stores. It's the only thing. I haven't even been using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Power powder since I got it. Um, I love it so much. I just take, which is another favorite, my e.l.f. blush brush because it's like pointed and it's um, tapered and it's like smaller here. Like it's not as, uh, what's the, it's tapered. So I just put it in like this and then I go like this underneath my eyes. And it is perfect, y'all. I think I've talked about this before, but I can't help it because I love it. It's like, it's not the smoothest brush in the world, but for like applying something under your eye, you just can't beat it. I love it. Both of these favorites. Um, also, I have been loving uh, the Real Techniques. This is um, Samantha Chapman. Excuse me, her line. Um, I have absolutely been loving this sponge. I have one that's open, but it's really, really dirty. So I thought I would show you my backup. I told the girl at Ulta last night, like she was asking me, and um, I don't, I hate, never say never, but I probably will not repurchase the Beauty Blender because this is like gives you the same finish and um, it it feels the same, like when it's wet, the the material and stuff. I I love it. Um, so yeah, favorites. I'm kind of all over the place. Let's go in with this. This is the Laura Mercier Spellbound. I have another one that I really want to mention, but I just got it. I'm wearing it today. Um, I just got it in December. So I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it will definitely be in my January favorites. Um, January is the month of my birthday. That's right, guys. January 30th. I'll be 28 years old. 28. Anyway, someone told me I look 35 <laughs> at work. I was like, ah. Um, anyway, this is Laura Mercier Spellbound. It was limited edition, but I wore it almost every day in the month of December. It is a gorgeous gold, rose goldy color, and I really loved it in December. I mean, I still love it, but it was a December favorite. Also, Illamasca. I feel like this is basically just the haul that I hauled. Now that I'm sitting here looking at it. Because I got all these products and I've been using them because they're all so great. Illamasqua Katie. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm like, I die. Every time I put this on, I die. And when I first got it, I know I told y'all, but I was like, holy pink. That is not going to be good. And it's more than good. It's perfect. Get it. Illamasqua Katie. Um, also, NARS Sin. Perfect for winter and fall. Um, it's like a dirty plum color. 
Does that sound tempting? <laughs> um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. There is a sheen to it. Um, but I highly recommend that as well. I finally started using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Now, y'all know if you've been watching me for any amount of time that I still always use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot just because it, like, um, it conceals and provides that blank canvas because I have veins and stuff and um, I need something with coverage. So I absolutely love my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. That is always, always going to be a favorite. Um, but I have been putting this on first, and I really, really do like it. It's a nice um, eyeshadow primer as well. Um, for a single eyeshadow. Kitten. Every time I wear this shade, this is no lie, I think to myself, this is the only shade you need <laughs> for your eyelid. It is flawless. It is just the most. I didn't even think about whether or not you guys could see these. I'm sorry. Um, can you see? I hope you can see. Maybe if I zoom out and then get close. Let's see. Can y'all see that? All of them now? <laughs> anyway, it is gorgeous and I love it. Um, what's next? Uh, like a contour color. Now I have and I love and I have mentioned in a favorites video before the Tarte Hotel Heiress but that has a, a shimmer to it and I don't use that to contour. I use it, I have it, um, I use this as bronzer like just to bronze the face in the summer times a lot um, but I got this. This is the Park Avenue and this is the matte one. Um, and this is the off-the-cuff palette, and I'm sorry, you guys, this was limited edition. I think Tarte should bring it back because it's perfect. But um, that bronzer in particular, I have really, really been using it. Um, <laughs> duh. I have really been loving it to contour with. So, yes, love it. Um, the NARS, well, I've got a lot of favorites. Um, light reflecting, Melissa Raymond is, she's, she's like the reason, and makeup by Tiffany D, she's talked about this too a lot, um, I don't know, it's just a white, I bought it for my mom for Christmas, and I love it, I'm so sorry, I'm still trying to get over being sick, and I'm really nasally, eh, unattractive, but, um, Anyway, Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. This is pressed. I probably will try the loose one because I am noticing that, like, I've got a dip in this bad boy. And I haven't been using it for, like, a month or so. So, yeah. Anyway. But I do really love the way that it leaves your skin. Okay. Or my memory card is full. Mascaras. The uh, Clinique Bottom Lash Line Mascara. I love this so much. I talked about it. Oh, BTW. I filmed a tutorial, an eye tutorial, um, on this look. So, I will, uh, that'll be up soon. Be on the lookout. Uh, using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. But anyway, Clinique, Chanel, Le Volume de Chanel. If I'm going to spend $30 on a mascara, I'm going to use it. It is not going to sit there and get old and dry out. So, I've used this like every day since I got it, and I do really, really like it. I'm wearing it today. Um, you have to work with it, though. It's not the easiest mascara. Um, so, yeah, I also picked up the Giorgio Armani um, Eyes to Kill Mascara, but I'm going to wait till this one's kaput before I open that one because they're both very expensive. Uh, for lipsticks... I have been loving the Buxom Las Vegas, uh, what is this, Big and Healthy Lipstick. It's just a gorgeous pink. I love it so much. And then the Benefit Fame Game, and some of these are on sale on the Benefit website for 10 bucks. I got mine in that pack that they had at Ulta. There was like three for 18 and, um, and then I had a three... 20% off or something. So they're like 15 so they're like $5 each basically. 
but it's just a really pretty pink and a really pretty nude and I have been wearing those two pretty much all month last but not least little <laughs> last but not least the Urban Decay Naked 3 I do really like this um, and I'm, I'm mentioning it because I've just used it every day just still trying to play with it and figure out how much I love it but I do really like it um, it's really pretty pinks don't scare me like the rose hues doesn't scare me so very pretty that is it those are all of my favorites I would love to know what some of your favorites were. If you filmed the video, link it down below for me so I can watch it. Um, and if you don't film, if you're just here to watch, then leave me a comment and let me know because I am always taking suggestions. Feed my addiction. <laughs> anyway, guys, until next time, love you. Mwah!